I bought every Astral Radiance Pokemon card box from GameStop. I've got the check lane blisters, the sleeve blisters, the three pack blisters, the elite trainer box, and the brand new Cleavor V Star box. Now, I am determined to pull the Starmie V trainer gallery card from Astral Radiance, so let's rip into all these boxes and see if we can find it. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. If you could, leave a like on this video and consider following the channel by clicking that subscribe button. We have a ton of packs to open up today and this is gonna feel a little weird, maybe a little wrong, but we're not gonna do a card trick on these. I wanna get straight to the pulls. I don't want you guys to sit here for 40 minutes or more to see all of these cards get opened. Bam, here's the first code for you. So we're just gonna get right into every pack. No card trick. I am very determined to pull that Starmie V Trainer Gallery card, and in general, a ton of cards from Astral Radiance. I feel like Astral Radiance is getting a bad rap. I'm really, uh, really shocked to see the prices dropping so quickly after release on TCG Player. Okay, you know what? I lied. We're gonna card trick the first one. Here we go. Four to the front. First pack in. I already couldn't do it. Just this. Is, this will be the only one that we card trick. But with that being said. How do you guys feel about a booster box of this product? Today we're opening up every product that you could buy in a big box store like Target. Oh, no trainer gallery. Oh, and just a Hisuian Lilligant for our first holo. We're opening every box that you could get in a big retail store, so not a booster box. But how do you feel about booster boxes of Astral Radiance? I've seen a lot of them opened, and I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling super confident on a booster box. Okay, let's just do it. We're just gonna go straight through this one, no card trick. I'm feeling confident though about these uh, single packs. Oh, nothing in that one. Here's another code for you. More so than I am about a full booster box of this. I feel like if you get a full booster box, you really need to pull that alt art Dialga or whatever your chases are to feel like the box was worth it. I'm not sure, you know what? I lied again. Here's another card trick. It just feels so wrong. It feels wrong not doing a card trick. We got Psychic Energy, a Hisuian Electrode, Gusty, Gusty Pickaxe, a Dewat. We've got Drifloon, a Pseudo Wudo, Combi, Ralts, Nickit. Oh, no Trainer Gallery again, and a non Hollow Vest Queen. I'm really curious today which box is going to have the best pull rates inside of it. So far for me, it's been the. Uh, I guess just the single blister packs. I haven't opened a three pack yet. I'm excited for that. Let's get right through this one. Scyther, Eevee, Heracross, Mantine, Ponard for our trainer gallery, and we've got a full art Adamin trainer card. This was the first rainbow trainer that I pulled from the build and battle kits. Very awesome. Here's the code for you. Let's drop this Adamin into a sleeve. It feels so weird having a stack of cards at the end. I don't know if I like this, but like I said, we got a lot of packs to go through today. So we gotta, we gotta save the time. We can't do the card tricks. Do you guys do the card trick at home when you're opening packs by yourself? I know I always do. I kind of rarely open cards off camera just because I really want to share the experience with you guys. Let's see what's in this one. We got Hoodoot, Ponart. Puchina, Yanma, Drifloon, another reverse instead of our trainer gallery and a Lucario V. There we go. Here's another code for you. We'll drop the Lucario V into the sleeve so far. The uh, single blisters leading the day. We'll see if the uh, the three pack has a chance to catch up or if the uh, the Elite Trainer Box. So far, the first Elite Trainer Boxes, if you saw my last video, have been pretty brutal. We opened the $50 Pokemon Center ETB and the regular $40 GameStop or Target Walmart regular ETB, and I was pretty shocked at the results. We've got a Radiant Halucha. Can we double it up? A Hollow Togekiss. I guess technically that is a double up, but not really the double up that we're looking for. There's the code for you. Let's drop this Radiant Halucha into the sleeve. Radiant cards are pretty cool. Uh, I guess I'm a little disappointed they only did three of them. It seems like whenever they do a new uh, card style, like the Amazing Rares and things like that, they only give us, you know, three or four 
but I think we're gonna see more Radiance in the next few sets. We're definitely gonna see Radiant cards in the Pokemon Go set. Here's this brand new shocking Eevee promo from the three pack. I feel like Eevee is just their go-to Pokemon for every promo card that they need. We got a really cool Charizard coin though. This will match the Venusaur and Blastoise coins that came out in the Brilliant Stars products. There was another Charizard, Charizard coin in, oh, I want to say one of those Arceus, or no, those were Arceus coins. I can't remember where that gold Charizard coin came from. Maybe it was the 25th anniversary, but it had a little different uh, pattern on it than the other coins. Here we go. Teddy Ursa, Hisuian Sneasel, Barboach, Cricketune, and a non-hollow Regice for our rare. This feels like the set of Regis. I feel like all the non-hollows I get end up being Regis. Here we go. Three-pack blisters, though. You guys know what I've been saying. I've been saying it for years now. I love the three packs. I feel like there's almost all, not always, but more often than not for me, some of my best hits come from the three packs. We've got Hisuian Voltorb, Basquin, Glammeow, and Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX for our trainer gallery. I want to say secret rare. I think in the Japanese set they were calling them the secret character rares, but Calyrex VMAX trainer gallery. Can we double it up? Oh, a non hollow Mighty Enna. And here is the code. Technically, this is like our second big trainer gallery hit in the. Uh, Build and Battle Kits, we pulled the Shadow Rider Trainer Gallery. Bam, look at that. I really love the artwork on these Trainer Gallery cards. I really, really hope they keep putting more of them in there. And like I said, so far, three pack blister leading the day. One more pack from the three pack here, and then we'll get into the Elite Trainer Box. And I think we'll save the Cleavar V-Star Box for last because there's only two Astral Packs in there. We've got Nicket. Hippopotas, Cyndaquil, Hisuian Quillfish, Hisuian Growlithe, and the Y-Deer Trainer Gallery. Three-pack blister might have just saved the day. Can we double it up? Um, Hollow Reggie, what a shock. What a surprise. Here we go. Code for you. Bam. And we've got the Y-Deer going into the sleeve. Y-Deer? We're a deer? Am I saying it right? Am I saying it wrong? Bam. Filling out the Astral Radiance Trainer Gallery. And now we've got to get into this elite trainer box. Like I said, so far, I've opened two elite trainer boxes for Astral Radiance. Have not had the best luck, but I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. Let's get this out of the way here. And do you guys notice they kind of went backwards on the quality of these booklets here? I thought I had, let's see. So compared to this uh, Shining Fates ETB booklet, the uh, the front cover here is like kind of like a hard, harder piece of paper. On this new one, it's like this kind of flimsy magazine. I don't know. Not a huge deal, obviously, but it's weird. I don't like I don't like change. I don't like when they change stuff up like that. Let's get our eight packs out of here, and I'll find the code for you. All the typical ETB contents that you guys have seen a whole bunch of times. Bam, ETB code for you. And let's make sure we got our eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I always like to start on that last pack at the end. Let's rip right through these. Honestly, guys, I kind of like this. Kind of like just getting right to the pulls, skipping the card tricks, skipping all the common cards that you guys have seen. Hippopotas, Cyndaquil. Oh, is there something in this one? Pawn Art, Hisuian Growlithe. We might even have a Pokey Shake. Hisuian Voltorb. Rapid dash. Oh, oh, it was stuck. It was stuck. Got the Galarian Articuno V Trainer Gallery. Definitely a better boost, or definitely a better ETB than the first one I opened right off the bat. Let's drop this into a sleeve. Bam. Adding three Trainer Galleries to the binder today. Let's keep it going. Maybe this ETB will save the day today. I'm actually really excited though to get into that Cleavor box just because they've got some other packs in there besides Astral and I feel like it's been a minute since I've opened some of them. Yanma, Drifloon, Hippodon for our reverse, and the Darkrai V-Star for the rare. This Elite Trainer box is hands down the best Astral one I have opened so far. Can we? Oh, that's right. It wouldn't be a double up. It wasn't the Trainer Gallery hit. Bam. Code card for you. Let me know too if I'm crazy, guys. I'll sh I'm sure I'll see it when I'm editing, but... There wasn't a reverse hollow in that last pack. 
Let's drop the Darkrai into his sleeve. I think it's really cool how they put Darkrai on the cover for the ETB, but I, I think he should have gotten like a few more cards, you know, but very happy with the Darkrai V-Star. Let's keep it going. We got quite a few more packs actually to open up here. So far, this ETB I think is saving the day. We've got Combi, Drifloon, Psyduck, Togepi, Bronzor, there's a reverse, and a non-holo Ursaluna for the rare. There's a code for you. Let's keep it going. I really like this style of opening. Kinda, I really like just getting straight to the pulls. Let's crack this one open. All right, Scyther. We've got Hisuian Basquin, Hisuian Voltorb, Glammeow, Swinub, Dewat in our trainer gallery, and a non hollow Mamoswine for the rare. Nothing in that pack. We've got, let's see, four left here from the Elite Trainer box. And we'll get into the Cleavor V Star box. First appearance of the brand new Pokemon, Cleavor from Legends Arceus. We've got Chatot, <laughs> Magnemite, Teddy Ursa. Sneasel. The code card at the end is making me think I see something. I keep forgetting. We've got Miss Drevis and another Reggie Steel for the rare. Here's a code for you. Very interesting to see the amount of uh, error packs that have been showing up in Astral Radiance. I think I hit one in my first opening. I've seen a lot of other people hit them too in their openings and I wonder if Pokemon just tried to print this as fast as they could and just get it out really quickly which you know if the errors are going in our favor that's okay. Hisuian Overquill and a non hollow Breveri for the rare in the rest of the pack. Bam! Code for you. Two left from the ETB. Two great hits so far. Can we get some last pack magic right after this? It's weird these uh some of these packs just like, it's like they're glued more than the other ones. We've got Combi, Ralts, Nickit, Togepi, Bronzong, Trainer Gallery. There we go. I am definitely completing this Astral Trainer Gallery a lot quicker than the Brilliant Stars one. Can we double it up? Oh, a very cool Hisuian Typhlosion. This is the artwork that they just put out with the uh, GameStop promo with the little... Uh, um, Astral Radiance stamp right there. Let's get these out of the way. Let's drop the Bronzong into a sleeve. My very off-center Bronzong, but it feels like that's how it's been going with a lot of the Trainer Gallery cards. I'm stoked still. I put them all in my binder. You guys know me, but it's nice to pull a really nice centered card. Here we go. Last pack magic from the Elite Trainer box. You know what? We'll give it a card trick. Bam, there's a code for you. And we got four to the front. This feels normal. This feels right. Seeing the energy first. There we go. Let's fight our way through this last pack. Togetic. Spicy Season Curry. That card makes me hungry every time I pull it. Magnemite. We got Ralts. Hisuian Sneasel. Misdreavus. Barboach. Dark Patch. Stealing our trainer gallery spot. Can we still get a hit? Uh, of course. It's a Reggie. Okay. Let me get all these cards out of the way and we'll break into this Cleavor V Star box. Okay, let's open up this Cleavar V Star box. Let's see what's in here first from the front. I really like the way they present these collection boxes. We're getting a Cleavar coin. We're getting the Cleaver V full art, the Cleaver V Star, the Jumbo, and six packs of cards. Now, in the past, I haven't had the best luck from these collection boxes. So let's see if this one can turn it around. All right, Cleavar V Star. Let's get this out of the plastic. Always so much. So much plastic, so many little pieces to open up. It's very carefully, bam, oh, was that careful? No, we dropped the, we dropped the coin right on top of it. We've got the Cleavar V-Star, very, very cool. Drop this into a sleeve. I actually left a spot in uh, my binder for the promos that they do like this, because I think they actually look cool next to all the other ones. So in my astral binder, I'll put this Cleavar V-Star next to all of the other V-Stars, and this full art Cleavar V, super off-center from the right to the left, but I'll take it still. This will go next to all of the other full arts in the Astral Radiance set. I like to skip the uh, the V and V Max spots in the binder, and then at the end of the binder, after all the commons, I like to put all of the the cards together. You know, all the the V Maxes together, all the Vs together, etc., etc. Very cool little Cleavar coin. I guess we should have opened this up first and used Cleavar on the the ETB. Jumbo Cleavar V-Star. Really don't know what to do with all of these Jumbo cards. They just keep piling up. I wish they would put figures in everything because I just like putting the figures on the shelf a little more. And six packs of cards. Let's get this plastic out of the way. 
We've got Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, another Astral Pack, Brilliant Stars, and another Fusion Strike. Let's start with this Fusion. Now, I did trade for the Gengar VMAX because I just had to have it, but I still really, really want to pull one. Let's see if this Cleavar box can bring some more hits. We've got Smeagol, Quillfish, Dynamo, Galarian Meowth, Dancer and a Golem. No Gengar today. I guess we have one more chance. There's a code for you. We'll save these Astral and Brilliance packs for the end. One more Fusion Strike. I feel like Fusion and Chilling Rain is something that we're going to see a lot of in all of these collection boxes going forward. I think Pokemon has a lot of it that they need to get rid of. And honestly, they're cool sets, so I'm happy about it. We've got Dreepy for our reverse and a Hollow Toxtricity for the rare. No Gengar VMAX today. Bam, code for you. We'll save uh, we'll save the Astral Packs for the end. It's been a minute since we opened some Brilliant Stars. I want to open, though, a lot more Brilliant Stars because I'm also determined to pull that Charizard alt art. Here we go, Riolu. Staryu. Impidimp. Burmy. Spiritomb. Oh, Dedenne Trainer Gallery. I feel like this is the Trainer Gallery I pull the most from Brilliant Stars. And an Agron V for a nice little double hit. And, oh, for a second, I thought it was the old uh, green code card. And I was going to say, that doesn't make sense. We just got two pulls. Let's drop Dedenne and Agron V into his sleeve. We got three packs left, and I'm looking at the time, and I think I did pretty good for you guys today. And didn't take up your whole day with all these packs. I think we had something like 24 packs of cards here. We got a page, Dr. Math. I don't, uh, I can't do the math off the top of my head. Here we go. As I open this pack the worst way possible, we've got Golet, Corpish, Sock, Cherubi, Clefairy, Lipard in our trainer gallery and non hollow or madam for the rare. Okay, it's all gonna come down to astral radiance for this Cleavar box. But you know, the Professor Juniper box is coming soon, and uh, maybe we'll have to see how Professor Juniper can do against Cleavar again. We might need some redemption from this. You know what? Last two packs, bam, let's card trick him. We got four to the front for Astral Radiance. Two more chances today for that Starmie V. We got to pull it. Here we go. Grant, Super Effective Glasses, Bronzong, Puccina, Glammeow, Yanma, Swinub, Mickit. Ooh, Eevee in the reverse slot and non hollow Mightyena. All right, if there's nothing in here, that means we didn't get a single pull from the Cleavor box. But as always, guys, if you made it this far, huge shout out to you. You are the channel OGs, and I couldn't do all this without you. Bam, code for you. Four to the front for the last time today. Let me know what your experience has been with Astral Radiance so far. Let me know if it's something you want to keep opening or if it's something maybe you're going to focus on buying singles. We've got Mantine, Hasuian Quillfish, Hasuian Basquin, Puccina, Glammeow, oh, Bronzar in our trainer gallery spot. Last chance for a pull. It's a non holo Reggie steal, but we had some awesome pulls still today. So, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in these next videos right here. Seriously, watch one of these ones right here. They're fun.